Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the podcast or live stream or whatever you want to call it. Today's episode is about content creation. <clears throat> and content creation as in if you are someone who has recently started a podcast or wants to start a podcast or is thinking about starting a YouTube channel or has a YouTube channel and it is not growing you can ask for whatever advice you want. I'm not saying I'm the perfect advice giver, but I do run a couple of YouTube channels. I have a podcast which is about to reach 100 episodes. And uh, as far as uh, content creation is concerned, I do keep myself updated. So that's a thing that maybe I can help you with. So if you have questions about that, you can ask me in the chat. By the way, uh, you are either listening to this on right now live on YouTube or you are listening to the audio version of it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Ghana.com, Geo7, etc. If you are doing that, please leave a rating or a review for, of the podcast wherever you are listening to it and share the episode with someone you like because uh, that will help uh, people find the show and get acquainted with the kind of ideas that we are trying to spread. So yeah, that was it. Uh, we I also should mention at this point that uh, I'm recording this podcast in a state of slight worry for Mohammed Zubair who's uh, one of the co-founders of Alt News. He's recently been arrested. He's ar He was arrested this evening on very suspicious charges. Apparently, he tweeted. Apparently, an anonymous Twitter account posted something, and then this seems to have happened in response to that. I don't know the details in great... Uh, I don't know the details in great detail because I only came to know about it about 20 minutes ago when I was getting prepared for this live stream. And I hope that things get better because... Best case scenario, they're just doing it to rattle Zubair, which I don't think is going to happen. Worst case scenario, it's something more sin sinister and we don't know what it is. So we will see. I have, I'm have i optimistic and I hope things will sort themselves out. Uh, let us look at the comments, a couple of comments. Before I start reading the comments, I was thinking maybe because many people are still not here, uh, I wanted to tell you about my content creation journey a little bit. I'll start out by pointing out that I'm not someone who calls himself a content expert. I'm not someone who calls himself, uh, you know, I have the answer to your content creation questions. The reason I'm doing this is because I do have a bit of a following and people do keep asking me about this. And in the past, I have even entertained the idea of maybe starting a course about all this, maybe help people make content more or write or, or you know, put out a podcast and stuff. I kind of shut that thing down because I, it was not satisfying to me because I did not think that I knew enough to charge people money for a, for what I know. So this episode is kind of like a free classroom if you if you want to make it that. Because uh, I'll tell you about my content creation journey. It started a long time ago, but I was not really thinking of it as a career or a, a way to sustain myself, this content creation journey. What happened a couple of years ago is that the political scene in India changed very drastically. And a lot of things that used to happen behind the scenes started happening very directly and bluntly in front of everyone. So a lot of things that I had been writing about for nearly two years suddenly got an audience. So that is the first lesson here. Whether or not your content gets noticed by people has to do with a number of things. One is your presentation, your skill with doing it, etc., etc. The other is whether there is demand for it. Sometimes you will start creating content and you will not see any traction for months or years. And then suddenly something will explode and you will find out that, uh, you know, suddenly people want this and then it will take off. The kind of content I write it has to do with it's, it's socio-political commentary. As if you've listened, if you've been listening to this podcast, if you're a regular on the live stream, you know what kind of things I talk about. If you follow my blog, etc., you know what kind of things I write about. Uh, the thing is, uh, what Manmat Sahu is saying, Vimo, I might be wrong, but I do believe we need more of curation than creation. Up to you, aapki baat hai No, uh, if if there is nothing created, what will you curate? Curation ends up being more popular than creation. Curation ends up being more popular than creation. But that does not mean curation is more important than creation. Because if everyone wants to curate, then who will create? Right? As it is, 
the amount of original content on the web or on any medium really is small and most people are simply pointing fingers yahan pe wo milega wahan pe milega it's 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 not information it's information about information so curation is important but i would i would not be so quick to say that it is more important than creation because i find that more people could be creating but they don't uh, there is a mobile platform called your quote where people post micro fiction and short form content including poetry etc they made a very wise decision once upon a time when they started they said that we will not have a share button we will not have a retweet button on our app and the reason behind that is that they wanted people to come on the platform and actually write they didn't want an entire account devoted to best of your quote so that it will be just resharing stuff tumblr has entire tumblr had if you guys don't know what tumblr is it's a blogging platform tumblr used to have a share reshare option twitter has a retweet account a retweet option there are entire accounts on twitter and tumblr which don't post any original content they're super popular but all they do is curate content from elsewhere there are entire pages on facebook which post no original content but they curate stuff curate basically plagiarism basically just lifting stuff from elsewhere and posting it saying that this is something you should see i'm not saying they don't have value because people do brands are built on the basis of you know this page is something that gives me the kind of information that i want it takes it gets that information from all over the place and then shares it with me but in the process a lot of copyright is also violated now there are ways of doing curation well for example an email newsletter is great curation but an email newsletter does not copy an entire article from somewhere else and send send it to you it shares a link so curation that way is a good thing the way we have come to understand curation in a lot of places facebook is the worst offender in this case because facebook does not really punish copyright violation and plagiarism in any meaningful way there are there are not a, there are not a very many ways to get back at people who steal content from youtubers and post it on facebook but that's a different matter i i got distracted where was i yeah so i was saying ki uh, when my content when my content became relevant the only thing that happened was that i started i i i i became able to use it as a basis for my full time work before that i was doing other things while i was writing this stuff but when the demand for it increased i figured whatever time i am devoting to other things i can now devote full time to this and uh, i will be able to sustain myself so i started a podcast my podcast has gone through at least two iterations uh, my like it started out as something called radio vimo then it became vimo talks and now it is vimo live uh, my youtube channel my main youtube channel just like yesterday got monetized and uh, it's been on for 3 years this live stream was on for a number of months before it got to the place where it is right now and it is also monetized so things like this happen my twitter account has been around for 15 years more than 15 years in fact and it's still not getting me anything the only thing i have gotten out of it is that i realized at some point that i could be taking screenshots of the uh, threads that i'm writing and posting them to um, instagram and that caused my instagram to explode my instagram is primarily where it all exploded and got to where this is right now today but instagram again is not not monetizable in any meaningful way for the kind of content that i post so that all is also out of the picture <clears throat> but let me look at the comments because that was the primary purpose i wanted to answer questions aditya nataraj says hi bemo looking forward to this stream want to start something on my own so listening in keenly great aditya uh, messi is here abhinav is here zia is here uh, abhinav says this is not the uh, this is abhinav abhinav says please tell me how to manage time how to manage time the simplest way i can answer that question is that you have to have discipline you have to set a schedule for yourself and you have to stick to it and even if it is not a schedule like different people like i'll, I'll give an example there are writers who have writing disciplines some writers have a discipline of saying ki i will write one scene today no matter how many words it is it could be a short scene it could be a long scene but their discipline has the form of i will write one scene today there are other writers who say that my discipline takes the form of i will write 5000 words today if it's one scene 
that's okay if it's two scenes that's okay if it's one and a half scenes that's also okay but 5000 words i must reach every day the form of discipline i take uh, into uh, uh, you know i i practice has to do with the amount of content i put out so i it takes the form of i will write two articles today i'll make one video two articles and uh, a couple of reels every day that is my goal sometimes i make more but i never make less than that so you have to have a minimum threshold which you have to promise yourself that you will definitely do how you do it like it's entirely possible that you will reach your threshold in 2 hours and then the rest of the day is chill and that's okay enjoy the day but sometimes you will take the entire day to do that threshold to reach that threshold and that on those days you have to take the whole day the point is that write it down write down where how much content you out you want to put out at the end of the week and then break it into chunks so that you can do a little bit every day and then on every single day just do it i don't know how to say how to do it i'm just saying ki you have to be strong enough to keep the promises that you make to yourself aditya says do we start a channel when we have a considerable chunk of content ready offline or start the channel first with a firm strategy and then go on to upload videos as we make it how does one go about it uh the com- conventional wisdom is that you should never start a channel with no content you should start a channel with at least 5 videos ready available so that when you announce the youtube channel and people come to the youtube channel because this is also an algorithmic question right youtube recognizes how much your channel's content gets to get, gets to be distributed by taking a look at how long someone stayed on your content so if someone comes to your channel and they watch one video then go to the second one then watch a third one then bookmark a fourth one youtube figures yeah this is an interesting channel because people are you know watching this uh, channel's content one after the other if you launch a youtube channel with one video people will come to that one video even if they watch it completely they don't watch anything else on your channel so you the algorithm the signal that the algorithm gets is that the channel is not interesting so even if that one video is mind blowing your channel suffers a little bit because of it now i'm not saying this is a debilitating bit of damage that you never recover from but it is better to give your audience at least two to three pieces of content video content on your channel when you launch ek dekha dusre pe gaye teesre ko dekha then they subscribe and all that so that's the general conventional wisdom manmat sahu says vimo i might be wrong okay already answered that aditya says how important are the skills like video editing audio mixing etc in the process of youtube style video podcasts well this podcast does not require anything it's live i use a software called streamyard uh, a software called streamyard which is here a bit ha yeah this here the logo is streamyard streamyard is a web based software it does cost some money but what i do is that i come live and uh, i live stream and after the live stream is over the live stream recording gets stored on the youtube channel as a video so this live stream is useful to people who are listening right now but also people who will be watching later on or listening later on i take the audio out of this and i post it on my spotify my podcast which goes to spotify if there are smaller bits of content in here that might be useful as on their own i make shorts or reels out of them and i post them on instagram and youtube and a number of other things basically this live stream feeds at least three other content streams that i put out so there is nothing wrong there is nothing like one should not be ashamed of uh, repurposing content you may make a video but shorter parts of that video can be used as shorts and reels on other platforms you may have a podcast and you can make a single 3 or 4 or 5 minute long video based on that podcast audio content and post it to your youtube channel that's okay you are a human being nobody expects you to produce completely original content for instagram for twitter for youtube for podcast and for whatever else only fans whatever else you might have uh skills like video editing audio mixing etc in the process of okay so uh video editing is important i i just pointed out that i don't do video editing for this live stream because it's not necessary because it is live but video editing is a useful skill even if you don't know anything else just know just know how to cut videos and in any case learning how to edit videos is very easy youtube is half the things i don't know i just search on youtube and i find a tutorial so you can always do that i use a video editor called movavi m o v a v i you can search for it 
there is a website they have a lot of products i have their video suite which contains a video editor a screen recorder uh, an audio editor also i think but i have never used it because i use some other software for it but these skills are important if you are going to create content learn the basics even if you are using a mobile phone there are very good video editors available for just the mobile phone something like called uh, kinemaster k i n e m a s t e r is available a lot of gamers use it to edit their mobile video footage mobile gaming video footage and post it to the youtube channel these skills are uh, i don't want people to think that they have to be an expert at all this in order to succeed but you do need to know some basics because at the end of the day you have to when you have become a little bit more popular you can probably hire some people to do this for you i still haven't got it to that point pranav radhakrishnan from uh, science is dope he has people to help him but yeah you can always start with something very basic just record yourself on your phone cut the unnecessary parts out and upload to youtube that's it oja says aditya it is very important video editing is important but what i have heard is you need to invest in good audio for example a caller mic or something like vimo mic and headphone yeah so a lot of people don't realize this but on youtube the most important thing is not high quality video it is audio think about this if you land up on a random video on youtube the video is a little bad but the audio is crispy clear you will stay and watch it but if the audio is terrible you will not stay audio audio is like uh, the sense of smell like we take it for granted a lot of times right we don't smell things anymore consciously but it is a very intrinsic part of how we process reality so good audio is very good very essential and uh, even if you do, like i'm not saying you have to have you know podcast level microphone etc but my phone it's a realme 3 pro it's got a great mic do you know why i don't use it it's extremely good i will be recording a video and i won't be able to hear a dog barking in the end of the street but this mic picks it up this mic the podcasting mic is uh, directional which means that my voice will be clearest when i'm here uh, I, i'll tell you like if i when i'm when i'm when i'm here you can't hear me very well and when i'm here you can't pay, hear me very well but when i'm right in front of the mic my audio is best i hope i did not muck up things irreparably but yeah a good mic is useful especially when you have noisy neighbors like i do this mic recording on this mic allows me to have clear audio because this mic is not picking up the sounds that are coming from beyond that wall right now you can't hear them but i can but the mic is not picking them up <clears throat> um arun says i want to start a blog i don't have money to purchase a domain name i can't ask my parents they will be offended by the things i write you don't need money to start a blog you can just start a blog on scroll stack i mean stack stck.me go to stck.me and start a blog just start writing but uh, if you think that your family is not going to approve you don't have to share your blog link with them ye kisne kaha ki are yaar main sarkar ko kitna criticize karna chahta hu par kya karu har article likhne ke baad link apne maa baap ko bhejna padega aur wo main nahi kar sakta mat bhejo na write under a pseudonym usme kya hai uh dr saurav solunke says how to build youtube video setup uh sir youtube video setup actually if you're just starting out you just need a phone phone ko kuch kitabon ke upar rakho apne face pe point karo video camera on karo phone se baatein karo record ho jane ke baad usko nikalo kisi mobile app se uske idhar udhar ke hisse ko kaat do kuch text dalna hai to dalo basic video editing karke youtube pe upload kar lo did, did you know a fun fact YouTube recently pointed out that a huge chunk of their con- content creators are mobile only like these are people who don't even use a desktop computer wo mobile pe record karte hain mobile pe edit karte hain aur mobile se hi upload kar dete hain so india is one of those places where mobile only lifestyle <coughs> is getting more and more common mobile pe log video dekhte hain is is live stream ko bhi bahut se log abhi sirf mobile pe dekh rahe hain पर मोबाइल पे वीडियो कंटेंट क्रिएट और अपलोड भी हो रहा है इंडिया से सो so, बहुत बड़े सेटअप के बारे में मत सोचो अगर इफ यू जस्ट स्टार्टिंग आउट जस्ट यूज योर फोन आई हैव आई हैव अ फिलॉसफी व्हिच इज दैट आई ट्राई टू नॉट स्पेंड मनी ऑन थिंग्स दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू नीड आई यूज टू बी वेरी यू नो आई यूज टू बी बेट ऑफ अ स्पेंड थ्रिफ्ट बट आई एम नॉट एनी 
and these days when i buy a phone i buy the cheapest possible model with as many features as possible because mujhe pata hai ki agar main kisi cheez ke upar 60000 70000 kharch karunga aur wo ek saal ke baad kaam karna band kar degi to bahut dukh hoga par agar main 15000 20000 ka kuch kharidta hu aur wo 2 saal ke baad bhi kaam karna band karti hai itna bura nahi lagta because you can buy another right i know a lot of people can't afford it i'm talking about in a general sense going for the cheaper option is usually better than going for something expensive and then not using it or using it and then realizing it is not as good as you expected it to be phone ka istemal karo video setup ke bare mein chinta mat karo is samay ye record karne ke liye main is mic ka istemal kar raha hu ye mic is mic ka handle mic ka jo audio interface hai aur baki jitne taar waar hain kul mila ke lagbhag 2 2 saal se zyada ho gaye inko 16000 rupaye mein kharida tha और वो बड़ा इकोनॉमिकल पैकेज था मैंने अपने एक साउंड इंजीनियर दोस्त को पूछ के खरीदा था सब कुछ और ये अब तक अच्छी खासे काम कर रहे हैं जिस कैमरे से आप मुझे देख रहे हैं इस कैमरे को उसके बहुत बाद में खरीदा था उससे पहले मैं फ़ोन से करता था बहुत सारी चीज़ें ये कैमरा है लॉजिटेक का वेब है इसका मॉडल नंबर क्या है होल्ड ऑन आई कैन सी इसका मॉडल नंबर है आई कैन सी एट I can't see it. The light is in my face and it's not visible. But I'll I'll share later. But the point is, when I started out, I only had my phone. मेरे फोन पे मेरे पॉडकास्ट के दस एपिसोड से ज़्यादा अपलोड हुए हैं. मेरे फोन पे मेरे मेन यूट्यूब चैनल के तीन चार पांच वीडियो बना के अपलोड किए हैं. सिर्फ फोन से. फोन पे रिकॉर्ड किया, कंप्यूटर पे एडिट किया. और एडिट भी एक फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर से और ये हो सकता है कि तीन चार पांच एपिसोड बनाने के बाद तुम्हारा चैनल मर जाए अगर तुमने अभी बहुत ज्यादा इक्विपमेंट पे खर्चा कर लिया और दस बारह एपिसोड बनाने के बाद तुमको लगे आप मन नहीं कर रहा यूट्यूब करने का तो वो सारे पैसे बेकार गए ना सो मेक योर सेल्फ अ रूल दिस इज वट आई डू मैं ये कहता हूँ कि मैं कोई नई चीज शुरू कर रहा हूँ मैं इसके ऊपर पैसे तब तक खर्च नहीं करूंगा जब तक मुझे कम से कम बीस पच्चीस एपिसोड नहीं बना लेता मैं अगर बीस पच्चीस एपिसोड बनाने के बाद मुझे लगता है कि मैं अब बनाना चाहता हूँ तो मैं पैसे खर्च करता हूँ मेरा पॉडकास्ट जब मैंने शुरू किया था मैंने माइक वो एक नहीं खरीदा मैंने फ़ोन से रिकॉर्ड किया क्योंकि मुझे लगा हो सकता है मेरा मन उचट जाए ये सब से और मैं करना बंद कर दूँ पर अब पॉडकास्ट 90 से ज़्यादा एपिसोड हो चुका है और मैं लगभग पिछले एक हफ्ते से पिछले एक हफ्ते कह रहा हूँ पिछले एक साल से प्रॉपर ऑडियो इक्विपमेंट यूज़ कर रहा हूँ पर यह ऑडियो इक्विपमेंट मैंने पॉडकास्ट के पचास साठ एपिसोड होने तक खरीदा भी नहीं था सो गिव यू सर टाइम स्टार्ट सिंपली डोंट वरी अबाउट बिग बिग एस इक्विपमेंट इट्स ओके बहुत से लोग सिर्फ मोबाइल से कर रहे हैं यूट्यूब भी रिकग्नाइज कर रहा है कि मोबाइल से बनाने में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है अगस्त एज आई हैव टेरेबल डिसिप्लिन वन डे आई क्रिएटेड अ ब्लॉग एंड टाइप डाउट हाउ अशोका सीरीज एग्जाम सीन थिंग इज टूपेड देन आई कैंड ऑफ गॉट बोर्ड एंड डिलीटेड द ब्लॉग एल ओ एल दैट्स एंटायरली थी दिस इज वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट यू मे हैव डिसिप्लिन एंड सम अदर फील्ड मे बी कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन इज नॉट योर थिंग but if content creation discipline is what you're looking for it will come and go you will not be inspired every single day to write four blog posts on the days when you are inspired write 10 so that you can chill for two days manmat says i shot it wrong for example do we need more media channels one channel more or less does it matter we have content abound so much that even better stuff are dumped in bottom nahi no, that is the problem na we, that's a misunderstanding we don't have uh, what we don't have a, an abundance of originality in content even news channels are not doing or are not investing much in original reporting these days they're taking stuff from twitter they're taking stuff from random like jaisa zubair ke arrest ke time pe tha kisi random ullu ke patthe ne ek twitter account bana ke kuch ek line post kar di aur wo account bhi gayab ho gaya par us account ke us ek tweet ke basis pe police ne zubair ko arrest kar liya hai <coughs> सो ओरिजिनल टिक ओरिजिनल कॉन्टेंट का अभाव है ओरिजिनल कॉन्टेंट का अभाव इसलिए है क्योंकि बहुत सारी मीडिया ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बहुत सारे बहुत सारी पार्टीज सिर्फ और सिर्फ क्यूरेशन पे फोकस कर रही हैं दैट्स आई थिंक इट्स अ डेंजरस ट्रेंड यूट्यूब पे तो एक साथ मेरा एक बार मेरे बहुत पॉपुलर पेज के साथ झगड़ा भी हो गया था हम लोग एक वेब कॉमिक बनाते थे इन्होंने हमारा वेब कॉमिक उठा के चिपका दिया अपने पेज पर और हम दो लिंक डाल दिए हमारे हमने कहा कि हमको बिना पूछे नहीं करना चाहिए था अगर लिंक डालें तो भी हटा दो और फिर वो खुन्नस में आ गया बोले ऐसे कैसे बोल सकते हो हमको ठीक है हम हटा देते हैं और फिर कभी तुम्हारा कोई कॉमिक नहीं डालेंगे मैंने कहा मेहरबानी हो गई भैया 
थैंक यू मत करो तुम्हें लगता है कि तुम मैं इतना बड़ा उल्लू का पट्टा हूँ कि मुझे लगता है कि तुम हमारे कॉमिक को प्रमोट करने के लिए अपने पेज पर पे डाल रहे थे तुम अपने पेज के लाइक्स बढ़ाने के लिए डाल रहे थे मुझे नहीं चाहिए ऐसा क्यूरेटरशिप मैं अपने कॉन्टेंट को खुद डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करता हूँ मुझे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर के रूप में चार ऐसे फेसबुक पेज नहीं चाहिए जो अपना फॉलोअरशिप बढ़ाने के लिए मेरा इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं ये क्यूरेशन एक डिजीज बन गया है बट आई गेट योर पॉइंट मनमत इंटेलेक्ट अक्षत सेज आर यू अक्वेंट विथ बायो हैकिंग इफ यू आर वॉट इज योर व्यूज ऑन दैट आई डोंट नो वॉट यू मीन बाई बायो हैकिंग लाइक इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जेनेटिक मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ पीपल और लाइफ फॉर्म्स दैन नो एंड इफ यू मीन समथिंग एल्स दैन आई डोंट नो वॉट यू मीन manmat says of course movies movies and stories are different but regarding news we are dealing with redundancy yeah now to the point i'm really looking forward to starting editing publishing business but i'm clueless publishing business ke bare mein to sir main kuch bata nahi sakta main content creation ki taraf ke bare mein baat kar raha hu content creation as an as an individual if you want to start a podcast newsletter blog etc then i'm here to help but publishing ke bare mein mujhe kuch khas idea nahi hai by the way i'll just thank vikrant for the 40 rupees super sticker hello there <laughs> that's an obi wan kenobi reference i think uh yash says i started writing on kora mostly social issues and movie reviews still really mediocre how do you improve your articulation style of writing is there any material you recommend to read no i just recommend practicing someone who has done a single thing for 10000 days is an expert on it that is the literal definition of an expert someone who has done a thing a lot of times uh if you are already writing keep at it uh if you are writing in a way that you think is uh, less impressive than you want it to be then take measures to improve it if you like for example if you're a speaker and you think you're not speaking very well listen to other speakers if you're a writer who thinks that he's not writing well read other writers that's how you're going to improve just do the thing a lot of times usually the Uh, uh, one myth that people work under is that improvement will happen uh, after consuming someone else's content or getting advice from someone but i think improvement only happens by actually doing things which is why i'm not saying take advice from writers never listen to writers about writing read their writing that is where you will learn mostly from Jack says hi Vimo I have a question how to read a book like when I read self help book it is easy but when I read a novel or short story its english is so hard to read even one passage please guide me Jack read uh, simpler things na uh, it depends on what you are reading I don't think you will have any trouble reading writers like RK Narayan RK Narayanan RK RK Narayan sorry not Narayanan RK Narayan wrote in a very simple way uh, similarly uh, Owen Colfer the author of Percy Jackson series of books he also writes in a very simple way find writers whose writing is easily understandable by you if you find a writer whose writing you can't understand don't feel like you're stupid for not understanding it maybe that's just not for you find writers whose writing is easy for you to understand and that will maybe help you find more writers whose writing is easy for you to understand uh shridhar has asked a personal question shridhar please don't ask personal questions i don't write or i don't like to share stuff Oja says I create content around cars and I got a lot of views on shorts like over 100 200 sometimes over 1000 that gives me satisfaction but I like creating videos but they get like 20 to 30 views what to do shorts is a hit and miss sometimes your short will go viral relatively speaking i mean it will get more views than your videos and sometimes it will not but videos i'm kind of still making up my mind about the future of short form content on youtube i'm not still there i don't know where it is going i think in the future short form content might like something interesting happened really uh, recently tiktok sort of tiktok uh, made a lot of uh, waves people started posting one minute stuff from on tiktok but you'll find compilations of tiktok videos on youtube and instagram which copied tiktok and started reels recently lengthened the length of reels to from 1 minute to 1 minute 30 seconds 90 seconds ka reel ab tak ja sakta hai so at some point i think youtube tiktok reels sab hum log mila ke we will reach some kind of an equilibrium point which will be the ideal video length for some time youtube took a long, a long time to figure this out by the way when youtube started almost all the videos were super short like 2 3 minutes 
then youtube started rewarding videos that were at least 10 minutes long so then high production values and all came into youtube nowadays we have youtube even like last week youtube released a video saying that they are prioritizing not prioritizing but they're making special arrangements for podcasts like this one for example so if you have a video where there's nothing nothing exciting happening but just a random guy talking into a microphone like i am right now then that will be treated like a podcast so long form content is also growing people think that short form video is the future but they are kind of not looking at the fact that podcasts are also growing at a quite a fast rate like really long form content amit varma ke podcast episode 4 4 ghante lambe hote hain and people are listening to the whole thing this podcast has a higher watch time than my other video channel people message me all the time saying i'm binging your content like they're listening to the whole episodes one after another after another which means hours and hours of watch time on this channel so uh, short form content experiment with it uh, there uh, there is one school of thought which says that short form content is good uh, not as a way for people to go on to the long form content but shorts ka advantage ye hai ki when someone has seen like four or five shorts by you the youtube algorithm will recommend your longer form videos to them on their home page so use your shorts ka success to improve to to improve traffic to your main videos and if your channel is very young then 100 200 is not bad at all like even your youtube videos if you want to improve views on your youtube video focus on seo make sure you are using the uh, make sure before you are launching a video you do plenty of research about what to put in the title what to put in the tags what to put in the description and then put it out search for other videos on the same topic see what kind of content is doing better post videos about that see what kind of keywords and titles they're using use such titles in, on your videos you'll see uh, the benefits i have a gaming channel i never thought you could get 150 160 videos on your first two three videos without doing anything you know what i did i made videos about minecraft and instantly i got 150 160 videos because it's a topic for which a lot of people are searching so minecraft ke upar video banana matlab essentially 100 200 views to guaranteed hai aa hi jata hai kahin na kahin se so your choice of topic also matters and another thing some people think that it is youtube's job to find your audience that is not the case youtube already has audience youtube's job is not to find audience for your videos audience already exists youtube is trying to find videos for that audience whether or not you end up being that video depends on whether you are posting stuff that that audience for which youtube is looking for uh, content whether they want what you have to put out so at least in the starting days don't be very original don't be extremely path breaking original content jo aaj tak kisi ne nahi banaya because that means no if 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 there is a topic about which nobody has made content it means that nobody wants to see or hear or consume that content so at least when you are starting a channel find things that people are looking for i'm not saying if you are running a cooking channel make minecraft videos but even within cooking look for things that people are looking for and then make stuff about that so that you at least get an inflow of traffic until you figure out that okay now i have enough people i i can make the things that i already always wanted to make so do that <clears throat> aditya says i seem to have a lot of varied interests i like cricket movies music politics religion rationality etc do i have to start a channel for each interest because of the because of the way youtube algorithm works you can but you can also make a mix of things uh this is advice i once gave to gunduchi also suppose you are someone who likes cooking and you are also someone like who likes uh, comics there are a lot of comic book related channels there are a lot of cooking related channels but is there any channel which combines cooking and comics think about it it's about if you started a channel which is about cooking and comics then youtube will probably not discard that channel because that channel is catering to two huge demographics but it's also very unique you can introduce your cooking audience to comics and you can introduce your comics audience to your cooking so that all helps 
that really helps by the way someone has come back samarth has become a member again hi samarth welcome back uh where was i where was i mm or would one channel for everything be okay aditya one channel for everything is a good idea but only if people if if you are well known outside of youtube for example if uh, someone well known in civil circles starts a channel right now people will subscribe because they know them as a person they don't care whether they're posting cooking content or vlogs or gaming videos but if you are not known outside of social media then you should probably figure out an area which you want to adopt if you can't figure something out take out a notebook write down all the things that you are interested in then figure out what is the one thing about which you have a lot to say uh, about which you can make at least 10 videos right then make 10 of those videos post them to a channel with your name and see how it does like do seo and everything see how it does and uh, if you see that it's getting a lot of traffic then stick to that topic if you see that it is not getting a lot of traffic start a second channel focus on your secondary interest see if that is getting traffic come keep comparing these two channels see which one does better eventually you will come to the conclusion that one of those two channels deserves more of your attention that is how you do it i think my main channel which got monetized yesterday suffered from the same problem i had no idea what i wanted to do with it at one point i was posting writing related content at one point i was posting comic book related content another point i was making video essays right now the thing that is working for it is atheism related content so that is what i'm sticking to all of these things are very close to my heart but i cannot make a channel a success by focusing on all the things at once so i'm focusing on one thing <laughs> विकास सर आपको लगता है कि आपके चैनल की ग्रोथ बहुत स्लो है विकास इस चैनल की ग्रोथ मुझे स्लो पसंद है मतलब स्लो तो पसंद नहीं है स्टडी पसंद है uh, मैं अपना सक्सेस ग्राफ ऐसा नहीं देखना चाहता कि एक साथ ऊपर चला गया क्योंकि जो चीज़ें एक साथ ऊपर जाती है ना वो एक साथ नीचे भी आ जाती है दो दिन बाद सो स्टडी ग्रोथ इज बेटर आई थिंक इफ माई चैनल इज ग्रोइंग एट अ स्टडी रेट एंड फ्यू पीपल आर कमिंग अ फ्यू पीपल आर सब्सक्राइबिंग एवरी डे दैन दैट्स ओके अभी दो सब्सक्राइबर हैं यहाँ पर मेन चैनल तीन हजार पार करने वाला है एंड दिस चैनल आई थिंक इज मोर सक्सेसफुल देन दैट वन बिकॉज ए दिस मेक्स मोर मनी बी इसका शेड्यूल ज्यादा टाइट है इसका शेड्यूल ज्यादा रेगुलर बेसिस पे चलता है सो so, मुझे इससे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है टेक क्रैकर सेज इफ अ स्टोन इज थ्रोन फ्रॉम अ बिल्डिंग एंड इट कवर्स फाइव नाइन्थ ऑफ द टोटल हाइट इन द लास्ट वन सेकेंड कैलकुलेट द टोटल टाइम टेकन बाय द स्टोन टू रीच द ग्राउंड Jack says hi Vimo one more question how do you remember what you read like how do you read what is your way of reading do you make notes i do make notes but that's not why i remember i make notes so that i can use those notes later when i'm writing uh i would suggest if you are forgetting what you are reading very regularly then you are probably not enjoying what you're reading If this question is about textbooks, then I don't have good advice to give you because I was never good at studies, at least the academic variety of class classroom studies. The reason I remember things is because I enjoy reading the things that I remember. The things that I do not enjoy, I don't remember. Simple. I don't have a method, and I do take notes, but notes me leta hu isliye taaki mujhe baad me likhne me aasani ho. like an interesting idea will jump out at me i'll make a note of it and later on when i'm writing it 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 helps to have written it down vikrant says audacity for audio gimp alternative for photoshop also there are many free but useful alternatives for adobe software yeah if you're looking for stuff it's very easy to find good video editors good audio editors good photo editors for free like i use the premium version of canva for photo editing and everything but you don't have to the free version is plenty useful Vikram says I have been creating videos on YouTube for the past 2 years sent you links of some of my videos did you see them Vikram I don't remember like out of the blue I get a lot of links in my DM I don't remember who all send me sends me what <clears throat> uh Ojay says hey Vimo you are at a position where a lot of micro influencers make money through sponsors affiliate example not VPN I think you will be able to earn a lot more even on Instagram why don't you do that I don't want to re main uh, affiliate or sponsors ke through nahi karna chahta because a the kind of content i post is not good for brands 
and uh, brand associations will come and then they will disappear and b i am very choosy about who i promote and what i promote mai bina paise ke logo ko promote karne ko bhi taiyar hu but if i don't agree with them or i have a problem with them or them or their politics then i won't promote them so a better way for me is simply youtube videos crowdfunding and youtube pe to ads aate hi hain like youtube ads ke upar mera control nahi hai at some point of time in the future i do hope to have sponsors for my podcast with host red ads and everything and when that time comes we will see kavan says small correction owen colfer wrote atom yeah 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 owen colfer wrote atom is foul author of percy jackson is rick riordan yes thank you thank you thank you for pointing that out i was i was mixing people vikas says what is your opinion on people like dev gadhvi whose advertisement you might saw on youtube ads i haven't seen them i'm sorry uh someone says i don't know why my membership is not renewing automatically some rbi stuff all the, yeah some rbi stuff all the time same here same here tech cracker says the average molecular a tech cracker kya chal raha hai yahan pe do you want to get blocked or something ye bakwas yahan type karna band karo code chakra says sometimes unique concepts don't work if there isn't enough demand yes which is why in the beginning stages of the channel or podcast or show or newsletter newsletter not so much because that's a different thing newsletters are newsletters and podcasts are free from the whims and fancies of algorithms but if we are going for youtube or uh, something else then the algorithm is kind of important sumana says a comic about cooking seems like a good idea not a comic a channel about comic books as well as cooking so imagine a video where he's cooking something and in the middle he takes a break to read a comic and talk to the audience about the comic book or imagine a video which starts with uh, him reading a comic book and then he takes a break and makes an omelet for himself something like that vikas says i want to make videos on all fields of science uh, like astronomy biology geology paleontology etc so ek channel mein sab upload karna sahi hoga ya fir different channels for each vikas First of all, I would say you should become an expert on these things. Don't make videos about astronomy, biology, geology if you don't know about these things. Do you have proper qualifications for this stuff? If you do, then whatever you have a qualification in, make one channel for it. And branding will happen later on. Sumana says, any advice for traditional content creation? Honestly, I want to write books for kids and social issues, but I always procrastinate. All right, tell me about it. I think my social media content creation takes away so much time that I'm unable to focus on my writing. Wait, I'll show you something. Where is it? Where is it? Um on my desktop there is a folder. Hold on, I'll just show you that folder. Um share, share screen window. Yeah, can you see this? <laughs> this folder on my desktop is called right now all of these are half written short stories half written short stories about uh, you know fantasy stories and science fiction stories and i have not been able to get back to them because i open a document sometimes i'll make some notes i'll write a couple of scenes and then i forget about it but yeah this is a real problem it's a real problem because uh, social media content creation gets in the way of real world content creation my advice is if you want to write like right right take a month off the internet nothing else will help vikram says can you watch one of my videos on this live stream it's copyright free vikram i can't i like i don't like i will have to watch the video off and then decide if i want to play it on the live stream without seeing it i can't i'm sorry kavan says do you listen to trash taste that's one of my favorite podcasts nope i've never heard of trash taste I mostly listen to audio drama re. ये जिंदगी में इतना ये इन लोगों ने इतना घटिया फीलिंग्स स्प्रेड कर रखी हैं पूरे वातावरण में कि when i listen to audio i don't want to listen to news or opinion i just want to get lost in some other world <coughs> Samad says you are right i want to make videos on international law to educate and inform people i'm waiting for my phd to finish something on the lines of faizan mustafa's channel but much more much more interesting uh, that's judgment there for faizan sir <laughs> faizan sir you are amazing but you are a little boring i'll make more interesting videos than you but good no i think you should i think you should 
Manmat says, we know Vimo the person. Someday, please reveal your gear, tool, etc. You know. Kuch khas gear nahi hai re. Like, I'll post, a, I'll post a list of things that I uh, use on the description of this channel if you want. Or in the com- community tab. But there isn't much really. There's this mic. There is, oh yeah, actually there is a bunch of stuff. You have a point. I never thought of it. Like, apne paas hai, matlab, kuch zada sochna nahi padta, but yeah, there is a bunch of stuff here. There's a audio interface. There's a microphone, microphone ka handle, computer, webcam, a ring light, uh, game controller, mouse, keyboard. Mouse, keyboard to sabke paas hota hai. But yeah, I do have a bunch of stuff. I'll make a list and post it. Thanks for reminding me. Thanks for making me aware of my uh, uh, equipment privilege. Arita says, can you give me a sense of revenue when you say monetization? Are, I don't make much money. My monthly income never goes beyond 30,000 rupees. But I live in a small town and life is cheap and I live in my own house, my ancestor's house. So I don't have to pay rent. So I manage. The amount of money I make will be impossible to live on for someone who lives in a big city. So you have to pay rent, you have to pay bacho ke school ka fee, you have to pay commute, khana, rent, wagera, wagera. Uske liye, this is not sufficient. But in whatever limited capacity I can, I have kind of sort of begun making money. And I hope this does grow upwards. I used to live in a big city. I used to make much more money than this. I quit all of that to do things on my own. And after two to three years of hardcore, quote, and, uh, quote, uh, quote unquote, hustle, I've gotten to this point. Um... Confused Ape says, I want to create science rationality content, but then I feel like uh, hasn't all kind of content is already created. What new content can I bring on the table? You don't bring content to the table. You bring yourself to the table. Sure, a lot of things have been said, but they have not been said by you. And your perspective is what makes your content unique. Everything that you can imagine has already been done. But it's not been done by you. It's not been said in your voice. It has not been spoken from your perspective. Somana says, have you watched Bojack Horseman? It has such good analysis on procrastination. No, I haven't. I have, I've been meaning to, but I've never had uh, the opportunity to, to watch it. Vikas says, I don't have qualification in these fields, but I'm interested a lot in reading books related to those scientific fields. Is a degree hona mandatory? No, it's not a degree. Hona mandatory hai. Main hota hai? Ki tum kisi pe channel shuru nahi kar sakte. YouTube, pe to 500 log, 500 ke upar topic channel shuru kar chuke मैं कहता हूं कि डिग्री होना एडवाइजेबल है क्योंकि तुम अपने आप को उस कैटेगरी में नहीं डालना चाहोगे जिसमें जिसको साइंस के बारे में कुछ नहीं पता वो साइंस के बारे में बोल रहा है जिसको साइकोलॉजी के बारे में कुछ नहीं पता वो थेरेपी एडवाइस दे रहा है जिसको जिसने जिंदगी में कुछ भी नहीं उखाड़ा है वो लोगों को मोटिवेट कर रहा है अपने बिजनेस शुरू करने के लिए YouTube ऐसे लोगों की कमी थोड़ी है मैं चाहता हूं कि तुम कुछ बेहतर करो इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट कंटेंट अबाउट साइंटिफिक फील्ड्स have either a research team who helps you or an advisor who you frequently consult or actually get the qualifications yourself. Science channel shuru kar sakte ho, bina scientist bane. Par tumhare paas 2-3 scientist advisor honne chahiye jin se tum regularly baat karke cheeze verify kar sakho. Kyunki humare desh mein ya duniya mein bhi ye kehna sahi hoga, ek bahut bada problem hai which is the decline in the importance of expertise. लोग एक्सपर्टी एक्सपर्ट्स को गालियां देते हैं और अपने मन से कुछ भी बना के कहीं भी डाल देते हैं व्हाट्सएप पे कितनी मेडिकल एडवाइस मिलती है लोगों को कितनी सारी अजीबोगरीब उत्पटांग एडवाइस कुछ भी कोई कुछ भी पेल देता है क्योंकि दूसरों का एडवाइस देने में अपना क्या जाता है सो आई डोंट वांट यू टू बी बिकम बीइंग आई आई डोंट वांट यू टू बिकम पार्ट ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम Confused Ape says, like, there is so much gyan on internet, but not enough practical implementation. Kavan says, oh my God, same. My right now folder is just as long. I wanted to write short stories, but I spent most of my time writing poems for my Instagram. I even created a new aesthetic, but my story is well. <laughs> Samad says, come on. I listen to Fezan sir every night. I go to bed. He's a great scholar. Every night before you go to bed, that's even more convincing argument for him being boring. My Faisan sir ki legal advice sun sun ke so jata hu. He is a great scholar and a great teacher. I have attended his conferences, but then we all know about his way of presenting things on YouTube. No, I mean, 
if you watch his content at 6 pm it's okay after 10 pm don't watch it <laughs> uh jashmin says do you cook vimo i don't cook um, i can make maggi i can make an omelet i can uh, make tea yeah that's i think pretty much also sandwiches and stuff with the basic har koi kar sakta hai samal says after listening to you don't bring content to the table but yourself i think you should write a book on how to start a youtube channel what oh so that sounded very motivational to you did it <laughs> sumana says do you ever regret leaving a stable professional world and money how do you handle such feelings how do you handle fumo i don't regret it uh a day ago somebody asked me if uh, we will have regrets when we grow old about not marrying and having children another friend who did not marry and have children and i said listen you are assuming that there is some kind of a happy ending possible to life and i am telling you that that is not going to happen everyone is going to be miserable in their old age everyone is going to have regrets we just have to choose what those regrets will be i might regret not having a family and someone else might regret having a family someone else might regret ki shaadi karke bacche paida nahi karne chahiye tha i should have focused on my dreams i should have tried to become what i wanted to become a singer a writer a traveler a whatever i wanted to be old age mein regrets aayenge hi aayenge pakka aayenge right now you get to choose what those regrets will be there are old men who got married who have children who have grandchildren and who are not happy there are old men who don't have anything and are happy and there are also old men more conventionally who don't have a family and are unhappy they are wishing i wish i had a family nothing is a guarantee of happiness regret sabko hoga so accept that old age is going to be regret full of regrets and then just do what makes you happy right now and no i don't regret leaving a stable professional world and money because i was not happy there i mean i was making money i was in a city i was working for other people and fortunately and this is actually quite curious the kind of work i was doing there is the same kind of work that i'm doing right now but i was doing that work for other people and now i'm doing it for myself and i'm much happier even if the money is lower mohit says you need to watch bojack horseman by the way i watched forbidden planet the story was so captivating old gfx work even seems to complement everything sorry to bring up different topic no no totally i'm glad you brought it up uh forbidden planet was quite possibly one of the first hollywood science fiction films that i watched it was on dd metro at saturday at 10 pm sometime in the 90s and it blew my mind like now when i look at it it looks much more beautiful because i have the perspective of having a modern marvel movie and then watching forbidden planet but forbidden planet was made way back way back i think 50s और 60s में बना था या मे बी उससे भी पहले फॉर्बर्डन प्लानट वॉज इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ अ बंच ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम अर्थ ट्रेवलिंग टू अनदर प्लान एंड फाइंडिंग दैट इट वॉज ऑलरेडी कॉलोनाइज बाई अूमन साइंटिस्ट एंड इज ब्यूटिफुल एंड इनोसेंट डॉटर सो देर इज सम देर इज सम अडल्ट मटीरियल देर बट दी ग्राफिक्स द स्टोरी द आइडिया बिहाइंड इट इट वॉज कंपेरेबल टू एनी थिंग टूडे सो दैट जस्ट गोज टू प्रूव दैट वी वर ऑलवेज इमेजिनेटिव is just that now we have more ways of expressing that imagination um aditya says samarth that sentence was profound we must said it so simply it helps in opening up our minds about creating content and putting ourselves out kaun sa sentence that you bring yourself yeah not my sentence i heard it somewhere else Vikrant says many YouTubers sold polyphasic sleeping schedules thought it would be great to use 20 hours of day even though i never procrastinated before they say tesla da vinci etc but i got more disturbed yeah youtubers lo advise mat lo your natural rhythm the rhythm with which you have lived your entire life is your natural rhythm if someone else tells you that you can sleep 4 hours a day and perform like a capitalist then no don't fall for it it's all bullshit there is no shortcut to a healthy lifestyle live the way that makes you happy as long as you're not hurting anyone and then make the best of what that elon musk koi bahut badi top nahi hai they have a pr agency which sends out these 
points to bloggers and youtube channels and then they make videos about it and it makes us think that these guys have some super human uh, disciplines they don't they're just disciplined human beings and you can also be a disciplined human being their success to a large degree does not depend on these qualities it depends on their social capital and their uh, ancestral wealth and their connections and their uh, you know privilege at the end of the day i have made videos about this in the past you can watch those um the batman vegan says vimo converts people to atheist apart from making mag <laughs> code chakra studio says i have are kahan gaya I have YouTube Shorts channel with thirty-four thousand subscribers. There is no engagement for long-format videos on my channel. Now I want. Now I want to start gaming on it. You have a great property. If you have a Shorts channel with thirty-four thousand subscribers, then I'm guessing you must be getting at least a few thousand views on every one of your Shorts. You have a great property. I think in the in the coming few days, monetization opportunities for Shorts is going to open up. But it's not going to be the kind of advertising that goes on on long-form videos. I think it's going to be brand integrations. So if you have a short channel, I would advise focusing on the branding of it. Like if if it's about, uh, I don't know what it is about, but if it is about cars, give it a nice name, put a nice banner image, and uh, make sure that whenever people land up on the channel, they understand exactly what you're doing. And when that happens, you can go to brands and say, I have a short channel which gets this much traffic. and if you want i can put up uh, you know sponsored content on it for you and that can help hmm samar says code chakra i suggest you start streaming dota 2 <laughs> well samar gives that advice to everyone but it depends on what you want to do with that channel if your channel is about not gaming i would advise i would not advise doing gaming on it if it is about do whatever it is about whatever got it to 34000 subscribers double down on that don't change tracks right now because then the algorithm will not be able to understand what your channel is about and then will go down the drain don't change topics in fact don't even like if your channel has 10 videos about atheism and you want to post a vlog about your shimla trip don't do it you will destroy your channel if the atheism related videos are doing well then you put out your next atheism video the algorithm clicks ha jahan se main atheism ke expectation rakh raha tha wahan se mujhe ek aur atheism piece content mil gaya ye video ab leke un logo ko dikhata hu jinko atheism videos pasand hai which means both people who have watched your previous videos and people who have not watched your videos but are interested in that topic ek vlog dal diya na shimla wala algorithm bolega are ye channel kya hai i don't understand this channel anymore and it will not recommend that video and not recommending your shimla vlog will have an impact on future atheism videos also don't change topics whatever your channel is doing that is keeping it successful keep doing that if you want to start a gaming channel start a separate gaming channel and i think this might be a great point to <laughs> this might be a great point to plug my own gaming channel my gaming channel is youtube.com/vimoplays i play a game called brawlhalla and i post fight scenes from it on this channel they're not very long 2 3 minute ke fights hote hain and uh, you can watch it and subscribe if you want kahan gaya kahan gaya sakshi says i recently shared your tweets on marriage and children in child free india telegram group oh okay i hope i hope you did not get trolled for it confused ape says i came across shyam manav channel through you such good content hindi belt really needs this kind of yeah and he speaks with a very authoritarian authoritarian bol authoritative voice also so that also helps hindi belt mein sabse bada demand guruon ke liye hai content ke liye nahi hai so if sham ji can post out good content with his tone of voice i think it will have great impact luka says vimo i have a channel with 2000 subscribers at two videos wow one of them has 200000 views but the other only has 2000 that was 3 years ago my ideas require a month of research and creation any tips to get back to it if if the video if the channel has not been updated for 2 years sorry 3 years then i think you're going to pretty much have to start from scratch because the algorithm is not recommending that video to anyone the algorithm uh, like the video that has 200000 views uh, how many views is it getting today that is what you need to look at if that number is high if that number is 
something like a few hundred views a, a day, then you can probably double down on that topic. If it is not getting that much traffic, then you pretty much have a free hand. Restart the channel. Start with something else. And if, if by the way, if you post something new and it works, then you should consider, uh, well, no, actually, don't worry about anything. Just itana man lo ki us channel ko abhi tum scratch se shuru kar rahe ho. Agar teen saal se upload nahi kiya na, then it has no fingerprint on the algorithm, pretty much. Just start from scratch. S says, I used to write as a kid, but stopped, especially since revi revisiting writings made me cringe. How can one restart writing again? I get cringe all the time from my, uh, you know, writings from my childhood. I have files full of, maybe this is a good idea. One of these live streams, remind me, let me know if this is a good idea. I should bring out my Bachpan ka stories and read them out on the live stream. If you guys would like that, let me know. <clears throat> maybe we will do this on a Friday chill stream. Let me know if that's a good idea. Uh, but yeah, don't worry about uh, cringy uh, writing from your childhood. Everyone has cringy writing from childhood. A lot of writers are actually quite happy that the cringy writing from their childhood has gotten destroyed. I, I for one, would pay money to read cringy writings from my favorite writer's childhoods. S says, would you consider yourself an empiricist? That is, you only believe in that which can be perceived by human senses. I believe in things that can be demonstrated through evidence. Not everything can be perceived by human senses. For example, germs cannot be perceived through human senses. Uh, the vacuum of space cannot be perceived through human senses. But we have instruments and methods available to perceive those realities. So if by empiricist you only mean human senses, then no, I'm not. But if by empiricist you mean including evidence from our uh, instruments and other methods, then yes. Samarth says, I am being selfish here. I want to play Dota 2 with Wimo one day, which is simultaneously streamed on his Wimo Plays channel. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? But Dota 2, I see, the, A, my computer, I tried Dota 2, my computer lags on it. My computer is not able to handle Dota 2 very well. Uh, Maybe one day I will get a better PC. This PC is like maxed out. It's crazy that upgrade not going to I will get a different PC, which will be a proper gaming PC. And then I'll play all this st stuff there. And then maybe we can stream it on Wemo Plays. Uh, as says at the risk of sounding dumb, if things like astrology, religion have persisted since humans existed, then couldn't there be something to it? It's not like we can dismiss generation after generation of humans as loons. No, we, I'm not dis dismissing them as loons. I'm dis dismissing them as people who did not know stuff. Is ignorance madness? No, ignorance is simply ignorance. Maybe there are things right now that we believe uh, that will be convincingly disproven in the coming 200, 300, 1000 years. Are we loons for believing it? No, we don't know any better. And by the way, this method of a lot of people believed it, so it must be true. Even I don't think even you will agree with it because that, that will mean that suppose you are a Hindu and I say a lot of people believe in Christianity, it must be right. You will not believe me. You will not agree with me. A lot of people believe in Muhammad and Allah, then it must be true. You will not agree with me. And if you are a Muslim and I say a lot of people believe in Hinduism, they can't all be wrong, then you will not believe me. This method itself is flawed. Argumentum ad populum, it is called. A lot of people do something, therefore it must be true. No, a lot of people can be wrong about things. Once upon a time, we had no methods of knowing about the Big Bang. Now we do. Once upon a time, we did not know that the Mariana Trench exists. Now we do. The best possible way to address ignorance is simply to acknowledge ignorance. We don't know. A lot of people thought something. There must be something to it. No. The thing that they believe in, can it be demonstrated to be true? That is all that matters. If it cannot be demonstrated to be true, why would we believe it? Simple. <clears throat> Vikram says, I make satire and comedy sketches, but it seems like that genre is dead here. Okay, so I think I now remember what you had sent me. You had made some videos with a bunch of friends of yours. It seemed to be a sketch a long time ago, like eight How could you remember me? Expect me to remember something you sent to me one year ago. But I do remember it, see? Kind of, sort of. 
द बैटमैन बेगन सेज ब्लॉग बनाओ बोलो हेलो गाइज मैंने खाना खा लिया मैंने नई गाड़ी खरीद ली है गाइज मेरी गाड़ी ठुक गई <laughs> मैं अपने एथीज चैनल के स्टैटिस्टिक्स में जाता हूं तो वहां नीचे लिखा हुआ आता है सर्च टर्म्स लुकिंग फॉर विच पीपल गो टू योर चैनल उसमें हमेशा व्लॉग्स होता है लाइक like, मेरे चैनल पे आके कौन पहुंचता है व्लॉग्स ढूंढते मे बी वंस अपन टाइम आई यूज मे बी आई समाइम स्टिल यूज द टैग विमो व्लॉग्स ऑन माई चैनल मे बी दैट्स वाई मे बी मुझे व्लॉग करना नहीं मैं आई कॉन्ट शेयर माई रियल लाइफ आई एम नॉट दैट सेल्फ सेंटर्ड uh robert says do you did you ignore me today vimo robert says no i'm not ignoring you just that the topic we are discussing today has nothing to do with the questions you're asking you can bring these questions tomorrow and we will be happy to talk about it sumana says yes bachpan ka story will be nice jashmin says yes we want bachpan ka story robert says says few comments for jaipur dialogues if you are lacking content jaipur dialogues what is jaipur dialogues i have no idea what you're talking about समझ आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया फॉर फ्राइडे चिल स्ट्रीम हाँ तो इस फ्राइडे के चिल स्ट्रीम में आई विल ब्रिंग आउट फाइल्स विच आर लाइक फुल ऑफ शॉर्ट स्टोरीज दैट आई रोड वेन आई वॉज इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड और प्लस टू फर्स्ट ईयर और समथिंग और मे बी समथिंग इवन फ्रॉम स्कूल डेज एंड पीपल मैं क्योंकि मैं बहुत डिसिप्लिन था मैं हर स्टोरी को पेपर पर लिखता था स्टेपल करता था एक कवर देता था और उसके पीछे डेट लिखता था और खुद के ग्रेडिंग भी करता था मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टोरीज है बैड रिटर्न ऑन दैम बाई मी सो it will be fun uh, so this friday's chill stream is set i'll bring out my bachpan ka stories and i'll read it to you and you will all give it a rating or something batman begins says luka donkey started with giving blessing in comment section with blessings of long age for mother kya i don't know what that is who just says yes emo i think bachpan ke stories is a good idea let's make it happen okay uh for a saint jeet says yeah that is true some people say how mukesh ambani did struggle and work 18 hours in a day and became billion <laughs> i forgot to mention that dhirubhai ambani already made empire business for him uske <laughs> he was literally the dhirubhai ambani's son what what hard work did he do i'm not saying he did not do hard work i'm saying his success is not only because of his hard work so when people tell you about success they should not talk only about hard work they should also talk about उसका बाप अमीर था उसके पास बहुत ज्यादा सोशल कैपिटल था उसके पास बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेस थे उसके पास समाज का रिस्पेक्ट था उसके पास अपॉर्चुनिटीज थे बड़ी बड़ी जगहों पे जाके बड़े बड़े लोगों से बात करके बड़े बड़े अपॉर्चुनिटीज का फायदा उठाने के दैट्स 99 परसेंट ऑफ इट हिज हार्ड वर्क वॉज मे बी वन परसेंट ऑफ इट एंड नॉट सेंग डेड नॉट वर्क हार्ड अनफ ही डेड वर्क हार्ड बट इट वॉज अ वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ हिज सक्सेस मेरा प्रॉब्लम हसल कल्चर के साथ यह है कि इट इम्प्लाइज कि हार्ड वर्क इज एवरीथिंग एंड दैट्स अ डेंजरस आइडिया बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु से दैट हार्ड वर्क इज एवरीथिंग आर फ्रॉम एक्सट्रीमली प्रिविलेज बैकग्राउंड्स दे आर अपर कास्ट हिंदूज हु लिव इन बिग टाउन्स हुज फादर्स हु आर रिच हुज मदर्स हु आर रिच एंड हु आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ देयर पेरेंट्स एंड देयर खानदान का मनी बिजनेसेस एटसेट्रा टू नाउ लुक लाइक देयर एक्सट्रीमली हार्ड वर्कर्स दे आर नॉट द जैक एसेस Oja says the batman begins how do these bless your mom and dad long age have like 1000 2000 subs with no videos whereas people like me are still stuck on 100 subs are aisa waise mat socho there are ways to make youtube channels which will grow very fast uh two days ago i saw a video where someone was saying uh, these 10 faceless ideas can grow your channel so the, he was giving 10 ideas to people to make videos without putting their face on the video like you know do a background voice and put stock footage and make and one of the things he said was make motivational content motivation content is very popular it is i could make motivational co- i could create a channel using stock footage and my own writings and it will be motivational content but i don't want to do that because motivational content has problems that i just mentioned and b जो बच्चा अपने YouTube चैनल के सब्सक्राइबर ग्रो कराने के लिए मोटिवेशनल कंटेंट पोस्ट कर रहा है उसने लाइफ में सीखा क्या है जो दूसरों को बता रहा है ही ऑल्सो सेड लाइक अ बंच ऑफ आइडियाज ही गेव एंड ऑल ऑफ दो आइडियाज लाइक आई वॉज विकास समाइम अगो यू कैन मेक कॉन्टेंट ऑन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन यहां से थोड़ा उठाओ वहां से थोड़ा उठाओ एक वीडियो को बना के डाल दो बट तुम्हें उस बारे में कुछ जानकारी है भी नहीं और ये सब करके यू आर जस्ट एडिंग टू द लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन 
that already exists on YouTube, right? मोटिवेशनल कॉन्टेंट बन अगर मुझे देखना होगा तो मैं किसी ऐसे व्यक्ति से देखूंगा जिसने जिंदगी में कुछ किया है एक अनोनमस यूट्यूब चैनल जिसने स्टॉक फुटेज जोड़ के एक मोटिवेशनल वीडियो बनाया है जिसके पीछे कोई सत्रह साल का बच्चा है जिसके जिंदगी में बहुत सारे दुख हैं वो काहे का मोटिवेशन है कंफ्यूज रेप से स्टीफन फ्राई कॉल्स हिमसेल्फ एम्पेरिसिस्ट एंड नॉट रैशनलिस्ट प्रोबेबली बिकॉज ह्यूम डू हैव रैशनल rational for a lot of bad bullshit things i don't think that is true about stephen fry i don't think stephen fry would call himself an empiricist if by empiricist you mean someone who only trusts what his senses tell him because that would mean stephen fry does not have great trust in uh, evidence presented by scientists about things happening a, a long way from earth he does so i think there might be some confusion here samad says a lot of people previously believed that slavery was moral yeah mm. we are at 1 hour 10 minutes wow i didn't even realize manmad says vimo jaipur dialogues is a youtube channel steeped with saffron stir oh that one yes ha huh. huh. for some reason jaipur dialogue and pondicherry uh, uh, lit fest are have mingled inside my head Samad says we want to see your handwriting and grading as well. Oh yeah, my handwriting is extremely disappointing even today. But I'll show you my handwriting. It's all written. It was all I used to go like you guys remember those uh, chemistry notebooks with loose papers with holes in them, and there were two binding cardboard pe- uh, pieces, and you used to put a rope through it and tie it. So I used to get that paper. It was uh, not blue lines. It was pencil colored gray lines, and I used to write on those. I used to put those inside files, and I still have a lot. whenever a story ended i used to take those pages number them and staple them together and put them inside the file i still have those files they are like ek do i have two really fat files <clears throat> i keep pointing this way but i'm not even sure if it's there maybe it's somewhere else shitet says easiest way to gain youtube following is making reaction channel for indian movies no it is and i'll tell you why or perhaps pakistan bashing and science in hinduism helps if you're a pakistan you're a gora uh if you're an indian person reacting to indian movies people will not watch you you have to be a gora or at least non indian because hamare andar ek bahut bada colonial hangover hai ki what do foreign people think about us so that is where that comes from again i would like to reiterate that i don't think that all reaction channels are bad some of them actually uh, have grown from just being reaction channels Javi Koi used to be just reaction, but now he's like critical commentary about movies and stuff. There are some channels which never do anything apart from reactions, and those are lazy. But some channels start out as a reaction channel, but become something more, and those are better in my opinion. And Pakistan bashing, yeah, uh, science in Hinduism definitely. Spirituality को लेके कुछ भी उल उल जलूल उत पटांग कुछ भी डाल दो लोग देख लें कुछ भी. You can say that uh, I I found. Uh, Uh, the atma of a chuha coming out of a buffalo's body and people will watch it kuch bhi swapnil at least have the has the decency to say that these are fiction pieces of fiction and not to be treated as justifications for superstition that's honest but aise kitne channel hai jo bhootiya cheeze spread karte rehte hain without any disclaimer at all and by swapnil i mean swapnil narendra he's a friend of this channel his channel is avir bhav horror story channel please subscribe to it uh aditya says thank you so much bima bachpan ka story plus 1 okay um right so i'm at 1 hour 15 minutes guys i should probably end the live stream um unique samira says hi bima i usually listen to your videos as podcast yesterday you told that your videos are not reaching women so i came today to live came today to live to tell you that there might be many more like me who listen only okay yeah so i guess my youtube statistics should not be the only statistics that i rely on by the way let's take a look at the stats for the podcast on spotify i have it open here uh let me just share it with you mm-hmm. one second i'll just open up the stats for my podcast on spotify and show you what is up First of all, hide. 
share, share screen. Right, so this, can you see it? Yeah, this is my dashboard inside Spotify. This is my podcast stats. It has had 17,496 stars, streams, 1,141 followers on Spotify. And uh, in all time, this podcast has had, okay, so this is a decent, so there are two things. One is starts, one is streams, one is listeners. Listeners is number of unique people who heard. Starts is how many people started listening and listened to at least 60 seconds of it. And streams is more than 60 seconds. And I'm at 90 episodes on the podcast. This episode, the audio of this episode, when it goes up on the podcast, will be uh, 90 episode number 91. But let's look at the audience. Inside Spotify. So since February of this year, when I started putting out the live stream episodes regularly, it has really risen. It has really jumped. And that I think is a good thing. I'll get a report at the end of the year about the podcast. So that I think will be uh, more enlightening listeners also similarly increasing just like this one followers also increasing since february is sal bahut growth hua podcast ka channel ka podcast ka but here gender wise 27 percent of the podcast listenership is female 61 percent is male 11 percent is non-specified and less than one percent is non-binary so that's better than the youtube channel because the youtube stats are like uh, almost more than 90 percent male more than 90% male. Age-wise, 18 to 22 uh, is 26%. 23 to 27 age group is 27%. 28 to 34 is 28%. And then so on and so forth. Wow. I have less than 1% people who are more than, who are between ages 60 and 150. There is at least, let's hope that there is at least 1% who's 150 years old and listening to this podcast. The other people that they're listening to are Preetam, A.R. Rahman, K.K., Arjit Singh, Amit Trivedi. Oh, shit. I can't sing. Like, I, I had hoped that people listen, who listen to my podcast also listen to other podcasts. But mostly they listen to songs on Spotify. But I suppose that's a general trend. Uh, country-wise, India mostly. Then United States, Canada, UK, Germany. Unknown? Kya hota hai? Kisi unknown jagar se 61 log sun rahe. Kone hi log? Netherlands, UAE, Australia, France, Taiwan, Czechia, Japan, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Bahrain, Spain, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Tunisia, Israel. Where is the Austria. Okay, no Indian will be. One of the Indian who is missing from his country is getting me to podcast to listen to my But uh, yeah, podcast has actually grown a lot this year. Since February, I made the decision to like मैं खाली audio record करके डालता था. Since February I decided कि मैं अपने ऊपर थोड़ा काम कम कर लेता हूँ. Live stream करूँगा. Live stream का audio ही लेके podcast पे डालूँगा. And that has worked wonders. And now it's uh, happening daily. So हफ्ते में पांच podcast episode जा रहे हैं. एक एक घंटे से ज़्यादा के. So yeah, more is better for stats I guess. As to how many people are listening to full episodes I cannot tell. But Samira thank you for coming and uh, telling me this. Thank you so much for letting me know that you listen to the audio version. I had not factored it in when I said that. Thank you. <coughs> Batman begins as my handwriting is good, even better than girls in my class during school days. Jo koi bhi absent hota tha, meri notebook lekar dusre din fir se absent ho jata tha. Uh, jo koi absent hota tha, wo agar mera notebook leke jata tha, to usko kuch samajh mein nahi aata tha. Aur uske baad wale din bhi absent rehta tha, kyunki usko pata tha ki wo agar mere notes ke, mere notes se liye hoye understanding ko leke class mein aega, so um, <laughs> says, Vimo, ka pyar stories suna na re. would love your childhood stories. Okay. When I say childhood, so I'm 40 years old right now, almost 40 years old right now. And when I say childhood, I mean my 10th standard or plus two first year stories. Usse pehle ke stories the, but I don't think I have them, many of them in my files. Anyway, her story ke upar date likha hoga. So you guys will be able to know. Kam se kam 20 saal par any stories to hongi us mein. Samira says, I listen on Apple Podcasts. Oh, Apple Podcasts. I haven't actually checked Apple Podcast statistics in, in a long time. I don't even remember if my password is what it was. But I'll check, I'll check. Um, Samarth is very happy hearing that Canada is one of the 
things in the list. Mm. Robert says, uh, Robert says, I share with my girlfriend your video. Mostly when I share your videos, I get backfire. Even though you are saying truth, but I don't know why people don't want to admit it. They keep living with their religious, spiritual, superstitious beliefs. Robert, uh, I hope you value your girlfriend enough to not share my content with her. But if you do, tell her that I'm not a bad person and that she should come join the live stream and we can talk. Batman Begin says, Robert, Vimo is relationship breaker for you. <laughs> Robert says, you should make video talking about middle-aged people and try to explain to them what is reality. Are I had an out, Angelo. Kya to tha, middle-aged thi tha. Samad says, but unfortunately, I listen on Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast pe is par bada hai. I got a mail saying that Apple Podcast ka jo India rating hai, matlab jo, like they have country-wise ratings, right? Uh, I have gone up 20 places in India in the category called philosophy. Now, I don't know if this strictly qualifies as philosophy, but I don't know what else it would fill, uh, qualify. What else this podcast would uh, qualify as? So I suppose that is also good. Spotify, pe upar ja hai, Apple podcast, pe bhi upar ja hai, which means Apple podcast people, are, people who use Apple podcast to listen to uh, shows are usually not in India. India pe Spotify bahut bada, uh, yeah. In fact, Spotify is quite possibly going to... Uh, dethrone Apple podcast as the major podcast listening app sometime in the near future. If it, unless it has done it that already. Someone says girls having better handwriting is stereotyping. Yes. Although it is kind of like a positive stereotype. So we will let it pass. Just, just be there says how much marks you got in 10th and 12th. Uh, 48% or uh, Twelfth May, mera tha fifty-eight percent. I had never clocked sixty percent in my uh, college life. The highest rank I ever got in school was seventh rank. My topper, मतलब मैं उन बच्चों में से नहीं था जो क्लास में बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म करते थे. कभी भी नहीं था. <coughs> Do marks really matter? No, I don't think they matter. But I guess different people may have different perspectives on it. The thing that I like to tell young people is that if they focus on their marks too much, then they will lose sight of all the possibilities, all the different career possibilities that exist outside of marks. Robert says, Batman begins, my handwriting was classical and I know, as you said, you were better than females. And when I was young, female was forced to write what? We do have this stereotype that girls ka handwriting was sundar hota hai, but I think that has got more to do with the patriarchal expectation that girls are supposed to be better at aesthetic things and boys are supposed to be more sporty and stuff. So yeah, I guess that is a stereotype which for the most part seems positive, but it does have a little bit of toxicity in it. But anyway, guys, show <coughs> If you have not liked today's stream yet, please do so. And uh, if you want to support this channel, you can do so by clicking the join button below and becoming a member of this channel or sending a super chat. And if you want to support my work elsewhere, you can do so on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Vimo is where my Patreon page is. You can make a monthly or an annual pledge in order to support my work. My work meaning this live stream, this podcast, my reels, my writings, my other things, etc. So if you want, if you think I'm doing good work and you want to support it, you can support it through Patreon or by becoming a member of this YouTube channel. If you don't want to make a monthly pledge of any sort, what you can do is you can go to my blog, which is vimo.stck.me and you can click the support button there and make a one-time donation of any amount of your choice. Alternatively, you can go to instamojo.com slash vimo, which is uh, a place where I sell my short fiction. You can, you can buy something by me. There are three stories there. One is called Darshan, a science fiction story set in India of 2050. The other is called Aladdin and the Quantum Jinn. And the third one is something that the name I'm forgetting. Uh, I think it is uh, the Rakshas Solution. Yes, the Rakshas Solution it is called. So you can buy one of those and support me in that way. My main channel is called youtube.com slash Vimo. And uh, it is a place where I post videos about atheism. For the most part, these days, if you want to, you can subscribe to that channel. 
my gaming channel is at youtube.com slash Vimo plays. If you don't play games, don't bother with it. But if you do like gameplay videos, you can subscribe. I post a video every one or two days. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my podcast, uh, the audio version, you can simply go over to www.vimo.in. And that is where you can listen to all the episodes in audio format on the website itself and find links to all the audio platform, uh, all the, all the uh, audio platforms where... Uh, that this podcast can be listened to like Spotify, Google podcast, Apple podcasts, etc, etc. And now having said all that, I will take your leave for today and promise to see you tomorrow, which is Tuesday, June 28 at 10 p.m. here on this channel. Until that time, bye bye and have a nice day.